Hey guys, here's a little special video. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys my entire uh, film collection that I own. Um, Trying to make this little setup uh, nice. I wasn't sure where to film. I don't have too much area over here. And I have this um, uh, expensive camera from school that I'm borrowing for this video. Uh, and I couldn't fit it anywhere, but really right here. Uh, so I didn't know what to have in the background. So I even have just like... I don't know, just to make my background look a little nice. Uh, I'm trying really hard to figure out a way like to film my unboxing videos to where it doesn't look really homemade and like I'm at my desk or at the table um, out there. Uh, or especially back when I started over here on the floor. I, can't, I know you can't see, but um, I think the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to show my Blu-ray films, my Blu-ray steelbooks, my DVDs, my Blu-ray TV shows, and then my TV shows. Uh, that's a lot of stuff to get through. I know you guys requested this, so it'll probably be another couple of years before I do this type of video again. Uh, so, let's get to it. So, first up, I have my Blu-ray copy of Gone with the Wind. Um, here, I'm going to do this. Uh, I got this during Black Friday. You guys might have seen uh, in my Black Friday video of like, hey, this is what I got. Uh, I've seen about this like, like I've seen half of it like three times. I haven't watched it all the way through yet. It's like a four hour movie. Um, but I mean, you can't go wrong with this. It's a classic, you know, 1939. Um, it's a Warner Bros. film. Um, yeah, this is the 70th, 70th anniversary edition here. This was like five bucks. Here's another, uh, well, the New Line Cinema on Warner Bros, but on Blu-ray here, I have The Notebook. Uh, I haven't seen this movie in, oh boy, four, five years, but also again on Black Friday, five bucks. I'm like, I have to get myself a copy of The Notebook. And so I do, and I haven't watched it yet, uh, since I grabbed it, but I'm planning on it soon. But I mean, yeah, Ryan Gosling, Rachel McAdams, yeah. That is a classic. This is, this is a notebook, you know? That is all good stuff. Anyway. Another film I haven't seen, uh, Midnight Special with Michael Shannon. Uh, as you can see, the, it's all weird. Um, another Warner Bros. film. Uh, some of these are from what I've got. Actually, most of these I got on Black Friday, either this year or last year. Um, I've got a bunch of new Blu-rays. But I haven't seen this one yet. It's a sci-fi movie. I've heard good things about it, um, but I will get around to this eventually. Uh, but yeah, that's something that I have. That came in like a four-pack of um, sci-fi Blu-ray movies. And you know. next up here, I have another Warner Bros. sci-fi Blu-ray movie. It's Jupiter Ascending. Um, I watched the first six minutes of this movie and was like, uh-uh, I, I can't. I can't with this movie. But it came in that four pack that I was talking about, and so I just kind of have it. Um, you know, Channing Tatum is always great, but I'm not big with the young adult uh, n n movies based on the young adult novels. Not a, not a huge fan of those. Uh, I've read some of them, like Divergent, Hunger Games, but the Divergent movies were terrible. The Hunger Games movies were okay. Stuff like this, I just, I just can't. Next up was uh, Gravity on Blu-ray, which is mainly the reason why I got that four-pack of um, sci-fi movies on Blu-ray. I wanted Gravity. I wanted my Blu-ray copy of Gravity. Sandra Bullock. Um, this one, or this won some awards, I remember, at the Oscars. And the guy, Alfonso, yeah, the director, I think he did something out of the camera, what else he did. Um, but I really wanted Gravity, so I got it was 10 bucks for the four Blu-rays, so I was like, yeah. Stephen King's It is uh, also here on Blu-ray. Uh, my brother grabbed this. He's like, hey, I want to watch it before we see the new movie. And I'm like, okay. And he didn't like it, so he's like, hey, hey Dustin, you sh here you go. You have it. It's yours. And I'm like, all right. And so, I mean, it's okay. Um, it scared me, you know, years ago when I first watched it, but... It's, it's kind of long and boring now. 
Um, Tim Curry is great, but everything else is just kind of... Like, the kid portion of it's pretty good, but the adult portion just kind of... Meh. Um, but yeah, so there's my copy of it on Blu-ray. Another movie I got on Black Friday that I've seen, like, four or five times, you know, on Netflix or whatever. Uh, it Follows. Such a great horror movie. Uh, I don't know who, who's... Anchor Bay. But yeah, it's really, really good movie. If you ever, if you guys ever get a chance to see it, um, definitely watch it. If you're like into the, uh, not theater, um, horror movies. Um, but yeah, I, I like this one. The Gallows here on, why do they all work like that? Anyway. I have this movie on Blu-ray. I got this around the same time as it. Um, I saw this movie a couple years back. It's it's pretty interesting. The um, you know low budget horror movies. I really like the behind the scenes stuff of this movie. Uh, you know Warner Bros. and New Line Cinema did this one, but um, it, it it's an interesting premise. You know high schoolers and you know in the in this in the school at night. That's always fun. Um, if you've ever been to your school at night, uh, I've done I've done that before. Um, well, I mean, not like these guys who basically were tra trespassing, but uh, it's fun stuff. So it gets pretty spooky. All right, next here I have the remake, an extended edition of Ghostbusters, with. The, Basically half the SNL cast. Um, it, this movie's okay. It's okay. Um, I don't hate it. I don't love it. But it's it's interesting. I mean, it's Ghostbusters. I have that on Blu-ray. Got that during Black Friday last year, 2016. So I haven't seen this movie in a while. I'm just I'm just talking at this point. Another movie, this is the last movie that came in the sci-fi collection. Um, Mad Max Fury Road. I haven't seen this one. I haven't seen any of the Mad Max ones. Like I said, I really got that four pack for Gravity. I've heard this is good. I've heard people be like, you know, Dustin, you gotta watch this movie. I'm like, eh. Nah, I don't feel like it. But it's part of my collection. And one of these days, I will watch it. I promise. One day. Today's not that day. All right. So next year I got on Black Friday uh, last year. I saw this movie in the theaters, the Peanuts movie. This is such a fantastic movie. I love this movie so much. So, so, so much. It's the uh, collector's edition, I guess. Um, versus all those standard editions. Um, this one doesn't come with a slipcover. Which I was like, ah, oh. but you know, it was four bucks when I got it at Target, and then I went to like Best Buy, and I had it for the same price with a slipcover, and I was so, I was so angry about that. I'm like, oh, come on. Um, but yeah, it's a great movie. I love this movie. So next here is my latest unboxing that I have, um, or at least at this filming date. Um, Saw the um, complete movie collection, all seven rated films, and it's not a complete collection yet because there's an eighth movie that I'm getting next week uh, on Blu-ray probably. I love all these movies. I didn't think I was going to like them, but I really did. I saw them on Netflix around Halloween, uh, so it was October. I'm like, well, I'll, I'll watch. You know, I wanted to see Saw, and then Saw 1 turned into 2. And then three, and then four, and five, and then I watched all of them. And I'm like, this this stuff's great. This is great. Everything, everything's great. Um, I, know, I had an opportunity to see Saw Eight. I went to go see Justice League uh, on that Thursday night, and they were playing uh, Jigsaw um, right before Justice League, but no one was in there. And the lady was like, "Oh yeah, you guys can go in there." And I'm like, "Well, I almost went in there, but it was like a half an hour into the movie." And I was like, "I don't want to." I mean, it's free, but I missed that first half an hour. 
And Tom's like, eh, I'll just stay out here uh, for another hour, hour and a half, whatever. Um, but yeah, I have all these on Blu-ray, which is exciting. Next here, I have my Blu-ray copy of Get Out. Uh, such a fantastic film. Definitely one of the best films of the year, I think. Uh, you know, Jordan Peele did a fantastic job on this one. Um, it's, you know, Universal put this one out. Um, I, I definitely recommend this one. You guys should definitely watch it if you ever get a chance to. But, uh, I mean, yeah. I, I don't know what else to say. The Mummy here on Blu-ray. I have all the other mummies on Blu-ray. Well, most of them. I have the Brendan Fraser stuff. And also the my steelbook of the original 1932. Um, I saw this movie in theaters. I really liked it. I know a lot of people really did not like this movie. But I was on board for the Dark Universe thing before they canceled it. Um, which, you know, I, maybe they shouldn't just make terrible movies. I mean, I understand that it's not the best, or what it could have been, but I enjoyed it. And then they, you know, they canceled Bride of Frankenstein, which, I don't know why they were doing Bride of Frankenstein anyway. Like, how do you do Bride of Frankenstein without Frankenstein? If you've ever read the book, like, you can't do the Bride of Frankenstein without Frankenstein, but, you know, beforehand. I know everybody really knows about Frankenstein, but if they could ever get Frankenstein right, um... If I can get any of these right, it would be nice. Uh, but I did like this movie with Tom Cruise and Sofia Vitella and, what's his name, Russell Crowe. Um, and yeah, as you know, you know. But, uh, I don't, haven't watched it on my Blu-ray copy yet. I've seen it twice, though. The other night, I fell asleep to this. Um, so I wanted something on. But, it's a, it's a nice looking Blu-ray. I do have to say that. Uh, Moonlight, I got also on Black Friday. It's a, it's a good movie. I don't know if it's best picture, Oscar-worthy good movie, but... I mean, I didn't see... This is the only film out of all the, you know, like, the best picture nominees that I saw uh, from last year, which was this one, which I only saw recently. I haven't gotten around to any of the other ones. So... You know, I don't know how good or bad the other ones were, but... I mean, if this one best picture... I think last year's picks were just kind of meh. I, I, it, it's a good movie, but it's not... It's not what I thought it was going to be, and that's probably what it, you know... Um, why. Um, but it's a nice, simple story. Yeah. Sorry. One of my, uh favorite movies of all time, probably on my, like my top 20, 30, what, I don't know, as The Accountant, with Ben Affleck, um, this is a fantastic movie, I, I remember, you know, first hearing about it, I was like, whatever, and I was going to the movies with my grandpa, and we were kind of deciding what to see, and the, there was this one that said The Accountant, and so we watched the trailer for it, and we were like, what? What the hell is the accountant? And we saw this movie, and I do not regret it one bit. This is a fantastic movie. I'm glad I went to go see this. Um, I'm glad I have a Blu-ray copy of this movie. This is, I love this movie so much. I do. It's it's fantastic. I mean, to have on Blu-ray, I, I, I love it. But um, I know it was so-so with the critics and such. Next three are from the DCEU, or DC or whatever they want to call it. Right here, I have Wonder Woman. It was a good movie. Third act was okay. I mean, I think my problem with the third act was, like, the CGI um, heavy, like, you know, BVS and such. But uh, other than that, this is a very good movie. Probably the best in the DCEU, if we're going to refer it as that. Uh, my favorite is Man of Steel. This would be number two. But I do acknowledge that, you know, I mean, this is probably the best one as far as popular opinion goes. Um, and the only one that's certified 
fresh on Rotten Tomatoes, if that means anything to you. Um, definitely a must-see, at least once. It's great. It's a good superhero movie, Origin. Um, you know, World War One. This is a fantastic cover, by the way. I love it. I love it. Well, DC doesn't exactly have its stuff together, because they made this movie. Suicide Squad. Uh, this uh, extended cut, which is better than, I think, a little bit better. It has a little bit more scenes with the Joker, but not as much as they filmed. Um, it's only 11 extra minutes. I know they filmed a lot more than that, because there are scenes in the trailers that are missing even from the extended version. This movie is a mess. I, I think it's okay. I, I like the first half, but... Um, and, you know, the actors are good. Viola Davis as uh, Amanda Waller is fantastic. But this movie had so much potential. And it's a shame that they completely, you know, ruined I mean, the, look, the back of this movie, look how fun that looks. It just looks fun on the back of this thing. But it... I don't know what they're doing. And apparently the rumors were that a, a movie trailer company edited this movie. It's like... Like, they had, like, seven cuts of the movie. What is the rumors? I don't know if any of those are true. But there was a lot of rumors about this movie. Um, I'd skip this one. Unless you guys are a diehard Suicide Squad fans. Which, I mean, I was looking forward to the movie. Next up, I will defend this movie as much as I can. It's BVS. Um, I'm not a fan of this front, though. But this is Extended Ultimate Edition. Um, which has an extra half an hour. That's how you do extended movies, not 11 minutes. You know? Um, I didn't like this at first when I first saw it. Um, especially The Flash. I just don't like Ezra Miller's Flash. I don't... I liked him in his little part in Suicide Squad. But in this, in Justice League, I... It's a joke. It's just a joke. It's... No. No, no, no. Jason Momoa as Aquaman. I mean, they all show up here, but um, I really like this movie. I enjoy it. And I'll defend this one. I won't defend, like, Suicide Squad or anything, but um, I'll defend the other ones. Um, I mean, granted, it, I mean, it should have been better and probably should have made a billion dollars, but it didn't. Um, probably because a lot of people didn't like it. It's two and a half hours. But I do have my uh, Blu-ray copy of this. And Warner Bros. Films, it's 25 bucks for one of these Blu-rays. It's ridiculous. It's so expensive. I paid 25 bucks for that, and that, and that, and my it. It's, just, it's a lot of money. So, anyway. Alright. Next year. No, this was my last unbox. Now... Not the Saw movie, whatever, I can't even remember. I have my lenticular slipcover. This is the Target exclusive version of It, Chapter 1. I put out here by Warner Bros. This is fun to do, I like this. Ah, uh, he got my finger. Um, also 25 bucks. It was on sale that first day, at least. I know that much. Um, I love this movie. I, I really do. Um, I was going to get the standard edition, but once I saw this I was like I gotta get this one this is this looks a lot more fun um, to do but I saw this movie in theaters there was like seven of us that went and saw this movie which is probably one of the biggest crowds I've went with um, you know like together with people um, at least one of the biggest if not the biggest but yeah this is uh, Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise is great the kids are great uh, I I didn't I wasn't scared by this movie. This movie didn't scare me. I was having too much fun. Um, I was with Gabe. Uh, you guys saw probably the Idiots with Soda, or at least some of you. Um, but we we found it a lot more fun. You know, we were we were like when everyone was like jumping, we were like laughing because the special effects were great. The cinematography was like fantastic. I love the cinematography of this movie. Everything about this movie is just wonderful. Um, Definitely recommend this movie.
Next here is the Hitman's Bodyguard. Um, no, I, it's okay. It's okay. I got this with some of my... I, I got it on Amazon for... Uh, it was Cyber Monday. And picked this one up. Um, I don't... It, it, the, the director is like a first time director. The writer has only written like one other thing. Or vice versa. I can't remember. Um, but it's not... It's not a great movie. Um, I mean it has Ryan Reynolds and Samuel L. Jackson. Which, and it has a good concept, but it didn't have its full potential of what it could be. But I do have this movie on Blu-ray. Um, it's a nice slip cover. It's a nice looking film. Here I have the Walmart exclusive uh, version of Power Rangers. I am a huge Power Rangers fan. Uh, fan. I mean, I was a fan of Power Rangers back when I was like in kindergarten. Um, we, we would play Power Rangers all the time. So to see this movie was like, you know, really, I was really excited about. You know, this has an extra disc, like of um, exclusive bonus features. It has like visual effects breakdowns that I need to watch. Not a fan of this cover. I like the other Blu-ray cover better. But for the same price for some um, extra bonus features, especially the stuff doing with uh, visual effects, I had to. Um... But yeah. Here's another lenticular. This is fun. The Shallows. I saw this in theaters. I was in California visiting some family. Me and my grandpa, we went. Saw this movie. It's a little ridiculous and far to fetch. But um, I like the movie. I, I love this lenticular. Um, this is so much fun has like quotes and stuff on it. And it's, just, it's a shark movie. It's a, it's a good shark movie. Um, but yeah. I, that's that on Blu-ray. Next up, I have The Boss Baby. Um, I like this movie. Uh, apparently, lots of people don't, which is ridiculous, because who wouldn't love this movie? Uh, no, it's a joke. Um, I have Alec Baldwin. This is a DreamWorks film. I liked it. I watched it with my cousins like twice when I was watching them for a couple of days. And I'm like, you know what? You know, I like this movie until I got it. So now I have a Blu-ray copy of this movie forever. Why I would need a Blu-ray copy for an animated movie, I don't know. But I don't know. I don't know why. I understand like Blu-ray and 4K stuff for like live action movies, but. For animation, is it necessary? I don't know. It doesn't really matter to me. It was all cheap anyway. It was Black Friday. Next up, Cap Captain Underpants. I read a couple of these books back in the day, or at least half of them. I'm sure there's a lot more now that I didn't uh, get to read. But I just love this movie. I, I say that about most of these, but it's true. You know, it... You know, it, it brought that back, you know, reading Captain Underpants. And it had that childish humor that I I, I did enjoy um, just a little bit. Uh, mainly because of the context and my love for Captain, Amer uh, <laughs> Captain Underpants anyway, you know, beforehand. So when I heard they were doing this movie, I was like, yes. And it says the first epic movie, so I'm, I'm hoping that there will be a second epic movie. I'm hoping. We'll see. Next is Sony's Angry Birds. Uh, I got this sent to me from Sony because, you know, their rewards program. Uh, like, if you get five Sony movies and you enter the code, they give you a free one for free. Um, so I looked through and I'm like, huh, what should I get? I guess I'll get Angry Birds on Blu-ray. Uh, so I did. I did. I got this movie. Saw this in the theaters as well. Um, with my with my sister pal. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an okay one. This movie should have came out like six years ago. But um, apparently they're doing a sequel, so...
So here we get to my steelbook collection, um, which I hate taking these things out because they always like to scratch. Um, but uh, I'm doing this for you guys. Um, so first year Transformers on a nice steelbook. Um, yeah, I love this steelbook. Just like I love all the other Transformers steelbooks. Um, I like the first one and the second one, but other than that, it Transformers Revenge of the Fallen here, also on Blu-ray, Steelbook. Very nice, got a Megatron there. Transformers Dark of the Moon, you got Bumblebee there. And um, this, no, no. This one, the fourth one, the fifth one, I, I can't. But, I mean, they make money, so. Transformers, Age of Ex Extinction. Dinobots, which were only in it for like two seconds. Which was frustrating, but whatever. Talk about false advertising. Transformers The Last Night. This is a fantastic steelbook, and this is probably actually my favorite steelbook. Which sucks for a really bad movie. Mm -mm -mm. This movie, I have never been so, I think, pissed off during a movie than this one, uh, to be honest. Um, I found stuff very. Um, there were there were some parts, especially like that part with like, you know, the government agent talking to like the the NASA guy. And he's like, shut up, nerd. Just tell me what I need to know. And he's like, we're all going to die. And he's like, oh, well, I guess this is important. You know, that, that entire scene, whatever, was just trash. And just that one robot that was like the sidekick of Anthony Hopkins was trash. This movie's trash. And the fact that the frame keeps changing the aspect ratio, that's trash. What the hell, Michael Bay? What are you doing? Ruining Transformers is what you're doing. Also here on Steelbook, these ones seem to be really scratchable. Is that a word? Um, easily scratched. But I got my Steelbook collection of my Universal Monsters. Creature of the Black Lagoon right here. Um, it's alright. Um, you know, I liked uh, Shape of Water by Del Toro. You know, he, it was kind of remind me of Creature of the Black Lagoon and stuff. Um, this one includes a 3D version. But I don't have a 3D TV or any of that, so I was not able to watch any of that, so that was lame. Um, the Wolfman. I actually like this movie a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, also has that annoying lady. There was another one of these movies. I believe it was this one, I can't remember. Or no, she was in the uh, Invisible Man. That one lady is just super annoying. Super, super annoying. Um, but yeah, all this artwork from Alex Ross. It's fantastic. Bride of Frankenstein. Um, classic. Probably my favorite out of all of these. Especially because I've read Frankenstein. Um, the, I'm surprised they didn't put The Phantom of the Opera out on the Steelbook though. But whatever. Invisible Man, based off the H.G. Wells book that I have not read yet, but um, maybe one of these days. You know, these have a very uh, cool sp special bonus features. The 100 Years of Universal, um, you know, showing, you know, because these Blu-rays came out for their um, 100 year anniversary. That's a cool uh, video, like, showing, like, the restoring their classics. For Blu-ray and stuff. Here's the Mummy. Um, all good stuff. Um, I mean, yeah. Frankenstein. Mm, I don't like this one very much. Um, it. I mean, I love Bright, Bright of Frankenstein, but Frankenstein was okay. Like I said, I've read the book, so. 
There we go. Um, but I do like this. I love this collection. Dracula, which was the first one I watched out of all these. I love this movie, especially that theme from uh, the Swan Lake play or something um, that plays at the beginning. That's a great um, song there. But I'm glad to have these in my collection. Also here on my steel book, I have Batman, Return of the Caped Crusaders. I love the '66 TV show, um, so I was really excited to, you know, get this. This is a nice looking steel book. Um, but yeah, I got this on Black Friday last year. Um, pretty great though. I'm surprised they still have copies of this. When I did go. Batman vs. Two-Face, which was also Adam West's last performance as Batman. Um, shame, I really wish that there would have been more of these, but having the two is fantastic in itself. Um, you know, and especially having, you know, some of the cast return. And, of course, William Shatner in there. Um, so, yeah. Also here, um, the Universal Film an extended version of Straight Out of Comp Straight Out of Compton. I love this movie. Um, you know, I'm films based on a true story are like a hit and miss for me. Um, but I really like this one. Um, you know, hearing some of their music before and the the director's cut is an extra twenty minutes. And that's how you really do an extended version is, you know at least 15 extra minutes um, so 20 is good half an hour is good um, which I mean this movie was already two and a half hours or so to have it you know two hours 50 minutes is um, it's great it's a, lo a great looking steelbook one of my favorite movies of 2016 10 Cloverfield Lane with John Goodman John Goodman Goodman yeah Goodman Whatever, whatever. Um, this movie is great. I saw Cloverfield and went and saw this, and this is probably one of my favorite movies. And the Steelbook looks, you know, fantastic. And if you guys ever get a chance to see this movie, it's absolutely wonderful. I love it so much. Here we go, my entire Star Wars collection right here. Um, I'm just starting order, I guess. So, you have, or at least continuity-wise, uh, you have Star Wars The Phantom Menace. It's been a year since I've seen this. But look at that, you got Darth Maul there. Um, fantastic looking steelbook. And I like the prequels, just because, I mean, I grew up with the prequels, you know? Like... The prequels were my Star Wars um, versus some people's original trilogy. That's their Star Wars. These new ones are their Star Wars. Prequels are mine. So, you know. Next, we got a uh, Yoda cover here with Attack of the Clones. Um, great stuff. I know. I think. I think a lot of people think this is the worst one. I kind of feel like The Phantom Menace is kind of like the worst one. I kind of like this one, but I kind of like them all, sort of. But very nice cover. Some of these you can't really find anymore. You can find like the original trilogy, Steelbook. Sometimes you'll see the prequel ones, but the, the newer ones, the Best Buy Explosives, you can't find those. Unless they're really expensive. Uh, you got Revenge of the Sith here. You got General Grievous there. Um, probably my favorite out of the prequels. Um, but yeah. Good, good stuff. What do we have here? Alright. Film. That is super scratched, but is okay. I need to get steelbook protectors. Um. But A New Hope here on Blu-ray Steelbook with Darth Vader there. Fantastic. I really do need Steelbook protectors. Ugh. Yeah, those things have scratched really bad. 
I try my best not to scratch them, but it happens sometimes. What do I got here? All right. Ooh, oh my God, this one's scratched even worse. Uh, the Empire Strikes Back. We got a stormtrooper there. Classic movie. Um, arguably, the, are you arguably the best one? Next year, wow, I've been working on this video for like an hour. Um, Return of the Jedi, not a big fan of this one, but you got Emperor Palpatine there. Um, but yeah. Then you have uh, The Force Awakens here on Blu ray, um, the DVD Blu ray. Combo pack with the special features. I love these special features. It's like over two hours worth of stuff. And I'll just watch them by themselves without even watching the movie again. Um, just because I love them so much. Um, now, episode eight is a different story. I won't talk about that. I don't know why I said I was going to do it in order because I saved Rogue One for last. Uh, this is a steelbook. Uh, Blu-ray 3D, Blu-ray DVD, and digital. Um, there you got the Death Star, and some some not so nice guys there on the front. Same thing with the back, whatever. Um, but yeah, those are my Star Wars steel books that I need covers for, like all my other ones. Yeah. Uh, now to my DVDs. I got Full Metal Jack here, Stanley Kubrick. I got this also when I went and, um, to get my Saw collection. I went to Walmart and um, saw this here. There. It's about five, five bucks. Like, I have three of the other Stanley Kubrick movies, so I need to get this one. It's a good movie. I really like this movie. Lego Ninjago. Um, this one's alright. It, it's not as good as the other ones, but um, I enjoyed I enjoyed this one. You have Vixen the Movie, which was a little web series on the CW Seed or whatever. It's a cartoon, you know, has Grant Gustin and Stephen Amell as their characters. <laughs> but um, they compiled all the episodes, season one, season two, into a to a uh, hour and a half movie. Or 75 minutes, um, which I'm really looking forward to uh, the Constantine show. Um, I have Kong Skull Island here um, uh, on DVD. I saw this movie in theaters, had to grab it. Um, got this 20% off at my Target, happened to be that week when it came out, I believe. Um, Godzilla here on DVD. Also a great movie. I got this for like three seventy four at Walmart or whatever. Um, but yeah. The Lego Batman movie. Um, I have all these Lego movies separated. Oh, I, don't know, I don't even know where my Lego movie is. There it is. Um, this is the Walmart edition. I don't really like the cover of the standard DVD. I don't usually get the what I call the cheap Walmart DVDs, which are the cheaper DVDs than the already DVDs, um, whatever. But I have Justice League Dark, which should be with my Flashpoint and Vixen, but whatever. Uh, has Matt Ryan again as um, Constantine, and you know it's Justice League Dark, whatever. Those are rated R. It's a good movie. I like it. Lights Out. I, uh. This is a good movie. Um. I haven't seen it in a while. It's kind of hard for me to watch this movie. I, uh. I went on a double date with this movie. Um. I'm not with the person anymore. Um. So it's kind of. Uh. This is one of them that's just hard to watch. Um. But every once in a while I'll. Um. I'll put this one on. It's been a while though. It's been, uh. It's been a real long while, but 
I do like this movie. And look at that simple cover. Just fantastic. Fantastic movie. All the good stuff. Live, Die, Repeat. Um, Edge Tomorrow. With Emily Blunt and Tom Cruise. Uh, rumors are that a sequel is coming soon. Um, I don't know if I read all about that, but uh, I do like this movie. Very good movie. Right here, I got the Flashpoint Paradox on DVD. Um, I love the Flash. I even have this comic somewhere over there. Um, but yeah. So here's the Flashpoint. Uh, Journey to the Center of the Earth with Brendan Fraser. I haven't seen this movie in a long time. Uh, this one or the sequel. Um, but I remember watching this back in the day. I need to get on this one again. Um, but I do have that on DVD. I got that as a double, a two pack with uh, Journey 2 when Journey 2 came out. Um, I do have this one. It's also been a while since I've seen this one. So, um, but yeah, they came together. You know, like what Walmart used to do sometimes is like the two pack, like, like this or. It was like that, whatever. Um, you know, I have I have those. I have Green Lantern with Ryan Reynolds. I haven't seen this one in a long time either, but uh, I I don't know what's coming. Uh, it's got a nice green case. It has Ryan Reynolds in it. It's Green Lantern. Just, uh, I've been talking for so long. My throat's just. Another one, Speed Racer. Saw this one in the theaters with my my brother, older brother. Um, yeah, they're based off the am anime. Um, yeah, yeah I, I like this movie. It's been a while since I've seen it too. Another random movie I have the the bucket list. I just have random movies. It has like a quarter of this stuff. It's just random movies I have from back when I was like younger or whatever um, but you know 300 isn't my copy it's my dad's copy but last year they got the 300 and 300 rise of an empire blu-ray and so I'm like hey can I have your copy of 300 since you already have 300 on blu-ray like I'll take your DVD of this thing um, I love this movie Zach, Sa Zach Snyder good stuff Johnny Depp in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And I was just feeling this case here, right? And it's just so, it's so stiff, you know? Unlike um, films, you know, these days, it, that, like, this is actually, like, hard and not flimsy, like, some of the stuff, like, I have um, Wizard of Oz and Willy Wonka over there that I got during Black Friday, and it, it just feels super cheap. This feels really, this is hard. This is how you make a DVD case. Um, back when they made DVD cases like this, I mean, this was 2005. This one's okay. And this one, I haven't looked in this in a while, but it comes with exclusive cards, I guess. Limited edition cards. Just from like the scenes in the movie. I don't know what the point of these are, but I guess that's cool. I mean, whatever. It's a two disc set. I wish we could see the um, um, Charlie in the glass elevator. Look, something like that. I read that book, um, which is a sequel to this. But unfortunately, we'll never see that. Constantine spoke a little bit about him. I love Constantine. I love Constantine so much. Um, this is uh, Keanu Reeves. Such a great movie. Ooh, can't go wrong with the Iron Giant. This is the new um, signature edition that comes with the uh, extended version, which is like a scene extra. 
or something like that. Yeah, an extra three minutes, whatever. Um, but it picks this up. This was like 374. So. Another film I haven't seen in a while. It's a Goonies. But I do own this movie. Um, this was a gift. I haven't seen it in forever, though. Um, but I do. I do own this classic movie on DVD. Here next, I have Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. This was like two bucks on Black Friday, so I had to pick it up. Same with The Wizard of Oz. I watched this the other night. It was okay. It's been a while since I've seen it, but um, also two bucks. My throat's killing me. Batman Begins here on DVD and The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises all so it's such a great trilogy of Batman movies but um, I think Batman Begins is probably my favorite out of the three to be honest um, but again all, all good movies Sorry, I'm trying to go quick now because my throat just hurts. Um, and I have no other time to do it for this video. I have um, the four original Batman movies. You got Batman, Batman Returns, uh, Batman and Robin there, Batman Forever. I said those two backwards, but I can't. See. Yeah, these two backwards. Um, it's the four films. They just come on two discs. They're double sided. Um, I think Batman Returns is probably my favorite. I watched it the other night on Netflix. Um, apparently, they're all on Netflix now, um, which is cool. Um, Batman the movie with Burt Ward and Adam West, and as you know, all, all the other people from the show. Good. Good stuff. Let's move this right there. Um, Superman, the five film collection. Got all five discs there. Getting like, look at that, disc two. Um, this is an interesting case, though. Um, I've heard that this one has a slip cover. I don't have it on a slip cover. Um, but yeah, it's pretty standard. I, didn't, I only have uh, Man of Steel, so I needed these ones until I grabbed them. Um, these are two double features I have. Got the Mask, Son of a Mask, which I haven't seen either one of these in probably over a decade. But I have them, just in case I want to watch them. Whatever. Also here, boom, Scooby-Doo double feature. You got Scooby-Doo and Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. Second one's probably my favorite. Um, but I do have these ridiculous movies. But it is what it is. Um, but yeah. Uh, since my throat's hurting, I'm not even going to do my TV shows. I'm going to do that on a separate day. So I'm just going to have these as just my movies. Um, here I have the Walmart exclusive uh, extended edition of The Hobbit here. Um, which I need to get the big set of. Um, like I have with these other two. Which bugs me. Like the OCD. Um, Desolation of Smog extended edition. I need this big one for the first one, um, but whatever. Uh, I've watched the extended editions. I haven't watched all the documentary stuff, just because I want the first one first. I need to get on that. I know, I know. I should right now, but whatever. I got that there. 
And then same for the Battle of the Five Armies. Um, but yeah, I should. Yeah. In that case, I have The Hobbit here, uh, Unexpected Journey. Very nice looking DVD. I have The Desolation of Smog there. Probably my favorite out of uh, the three. Um, especially out of the book. All of my favorite stuff from the book is in this movie. Um, and then the Battle of the Five Armies here on DVD. All nice slip covers. Um, all great stuff. I love these movies. And then I have my Lord of the Rings trilogy here. This one. So you got the first one there. And the second one. And the third one. Why do I feel like I'm reading those wrong? But I'm not. Oh, this back picture just reminds me of a scene in the third one. Um, I got these for four bucks each a couple, of, um, a couple years ago at Target. They were on sale. Um, so instead of five each, they were four each. So I'm like, yeah, I gotta get Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Two disc special edition of the Lego movie here. Um, as you guys may know that I uh, have a bunch of Legos. So I was um, I was I wasn't sure about this movie, but when I went and saw it I actually ended up liking it. But yeah. Next up I have Man of Steel, which is probably one of my favorite superhero movies. Uh, I fell asleep to this last night. Um, just love this movie. I'm not a big fan of Superman, but I love this movie. And then I have the eight film collection of Nightmare on Elm Street. All the ones with uh, Robert England or whatever. Um, I don't have the remake one, but I do have all eight of these on, a, on DVD. So, yeah. Uh, so here I have The Ring um, on DVD. I couldn't find this anywhere and I was looking for it. And I have a shop called Sam Goody in the mall. And they had it there. They have a bunch of used stuff in there. And of course months later I find it in Best Buy for like four bucks, whatever. Um, I think those were like four or five. I can't remember, four ninety nine or something like that. Um, if I do have a copy of this, you know, one thing in the movie, there was a part um, with the, the the main guy. Can't remember, but the main guy at the end, you know, he dies. Uh, he see, you know, he sees the ring, whatever. Uh, Samantha comes after him, out of the TV, um, and he dies. And I saw this movie a couple of years ago. And I remember like seeing his face, and his whole face was deformed like the girl in the closet. Um, but when I watched this, that part wasn't in there. It, um, I don't know where it was, and so I tried to like, you know, rewind. I'm like, there's this part. It's right there. He, he, she turns around the chair. You know, you see her scream, but then you see his face. And I looked all over YouTube. I couldn't find, I mean, I looked at that clip, like, seven different clips of the same scene, and that shot was not in any of them. The only evidence I could find was a picture of it on Google somewhere. Um, There's a mystery that has not been solved, but I will get to the bottom of that. If any of you guys know any information about that, let me know. Right here I got... Right here, I got Percy Jackson and uh, the Percy Jackson and the Olympians, the Lightning Thief. Read these books back in the day. All great stuff. So there's the first one there. Um, yeah, nothing special. I got Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters. Probably my favorite book out of the series. Um, but you know, whatever. 
So I got those on DVD. Too bad that they didn't make any more of them. But, cause, I mean, there's five books. So, whatever. Whatever. On DVD here, I got Black Swan. Fantastic movie. I really like this one. Um, yeah, I got the, the nice case there. Next here, I have Gulliver's Travels with Jack Black. I've seen the original one, and I read Gulliver's Travels back in the day. Um, I haven't seen this movie in a while, so I can't really comment on it, but I do have it on DVD. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Um, this is the rental exclusive. I have a, a raise, and, um, you know, they get sent this stuff, and then later when they're not, um, renting as many copies, they'll have them for sale and whatnot. Um, so I have that. Uh, I read, like, all these books, except for the very last one that just came out in November. I haven't read that one yet. Uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, uh, Roderick Rules, great stuff. Great, great stuff. Whatever. And along with that, I have my summer vacation fun pack. Which I haven't watched in a while, but. And then I have Diary of a Wimpy Kid Dog Days, which was probably one of my least favorite ones. Um. But I've gone to it, um, as far as the books go. Which was the third and final movie, but the fourth book in the series. Um, um, I got Taken here. Never seen this movie, but I have it. I've seen two and three, that's weird. I rarely ever do that, but I should get around to this one. Um, but I, I get the gist of this. It comes with the theatrical and extended cut of the film. I don't know what the difference is. Um, like how much extra longer it is. We have that DVD. I forget that I have these movies. I have Taken 2. Um, which I've seen only like once. Whatever. And these are the ones that like are in the same format. Or looks exactly like each other. Whatever I have, I have taken three, which I've only seen like twice back when it came out. Um, I like Liam Neeson. Uh, so yeah, I do have these taken movies, I guess. Um, I have the trouble feature of X Men, X Two, X Men United, X Men: The Last Stand. All here on DVD. Love these movies. Love the X-Men. Here I got X-Men First Class. All the, the newer people. My favorites. I have Days of Future Past, the road cut. So, of course, the theatrical version and the road cut of the movie. Very nice packaging. I got this at Walmart um, back when it came out. I love this whole red and white and black um, theme going, but uh, yeah, one of my favorite X-Men movies. X-Men The uh, Apocalypse, I almost said The Last Stand, what's the difference? Um, I saw this in the theaters by myself, it was alright. It's been a while since I've seen this one too. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it's almost been two years since that movie came out. Deadpool here on DVD. Great movie. Watched it the other night. I love this movie. I'm really excited for the second one that got um, pushed up a couple of weeks. Now it's in May instead of June. Of course, they delayed New Mutants, um, which I'm not happy about, but we'll see it eventually. Uh, the worst X-Men movie of X-Men movies, X-Men Origins Wolverine. This movie's terrible. This movie's terrible. Never watched this movie, ever. 
No, no. Bad movie. Terrible movie. Over here I got Fantastic Four on DVD um, and its sequel, uh, Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer. Like the first one, um, second one not so much, they did terrible with Galactus. Terrible, terrible. Um, I have the reboot of Fantastic Four. So I have my fan in the background. It got hot in here. I, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I like this movie. I do. I got Rise of the Planet of the Apes here on DVD. Um, I love James Franco and you know Andy Serkis and all of them. Um, this is probably one of my favorite trilogies, actually. Um, I keep saying I'm a lot. I'm sorry. But, I mean, yeah, so I have that on DVD. I have Dawn of the Planet of the Apes here on DVD. Good movie. Very good movie. Like I said, this is my favorite trilogy. See, this DVD case is actually good for a new release. Um, War for the Planet of the Apes. Um, probably my favorite one, to be honest. I really like this one. Um, but yeah. I got Birdman here on DVD. Which I, I absolutely love this movie. I doing this. Um, I don't know how these videos are usually done. Like, I don't know how much I'm supposed to talk about each title or whatever, but. Got Gone Girl here on DVD. And this is a nice thin um, cover. It's probably one of my favorite movies, along with Birdman. Also, I have Spy. <laughs> I like Spy. Um, and Bridesmaids in the Heat. Or two movies I need to get. Um, but yeah. Sorry guys, I'm really just trying to get through these. I still have a bunch more to go. Ha! Ah. True story I have on DVD. This Jonah Hill, James Franco, Felicity Jones. This is based off a book. Um, it takes place in Oregon, which, I mean, I live in Oregon. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, but but yeah. So I have this movie. I read the book. The book is fantastic. It's probably my favorite book. But this movie's okay. Um, yeah, it's okay. I have Captain America uh, and Captain America 2, Death Too Soon. These movies are terrible. Please don't ever watch these. That is three hours. You will never, ever get your for back. You know, just save yourself. Don't watch these. It's a waste of my time. Here we got the phase one of Marvel. Iron Man. Incredible Hulk, which I love. Iron Man 2. Thor. It's all feel so old. They are. Captain America, the first Avenger. Which is probably one of my favorite superhero movies as well. And definitely one of my favorites in Phase 1. And Marvel's The Avengers, which is probably also one of my favorite um, superhero movies of all time. Um, so yeah, got the Phase 1 on DVD. I know they just recently um, released a bunch of their uh, movies on Blu-ray with the new covers that look the same. Um, but I'm going to stick with these ones for DVD. Just because it's three a year. And it's like 20, 40, 60 bucks. Just on one property a year. And so, you know, I'll stick with DVDs for that one. I got phase two right here, starting with Iron Man 3, and Thor the Dark World, which I actually like. I know a lot of people don't, but um, Captain America the Winter Soldier, which is probably one of their best movies. I love Guardians of the Galaxy, 
Avengers Age of Ultron and Ant-Man some of these I haven't seen in a bit like Thor the Dark World I haven't seen in a while but I got Phase 2 there you know all all these good movies good good stuff um, but yeah as a whole I really like the MCU and what they've been doing and all that jazz now get ready to hate me. I have Civil War. Actually, this is a really sturdy. Nice. I don't like this movie. I don't. I'm sorry. Please don't hate me. Um, I, I just, I don't know. I, I was really wanting a Captain America movie. And it was more like an Avengers movie, you know. Doctor Strange. Okay artwork. I mean, their DVDs are really generic. Just like the movies are. Oh. That was funny. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And Spider-Man Homecoming. So that's a little bit of Phase 3 so far. Um, but I do have those. Gosh, I'm almost done. I got, I got like two shelves left to do. I have the two pack of Ghostbusters here on DVD, the slim discs or car, um, DVDs there, so that's always fun. Um, I have Men in Black right there, um, and of course Men in Black 2, I have Men in Black 3 down there. I don't know why they're separated. Um, and Men in Black 2. I got Spider Man here. Spider Man 2. Spider Man 3. And you know, Spider Man 2 is one of my favorites, also, and Spider Man. Um, a bit more like this. Spider-Man 3 is kind of lame, but you know, definitely, definitely these two. Um, and then I have this two pack of Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider and Ghost Rider Spirit of Vengeance, which they're okay, although the second one's pretty terrible. It's pretty trash. Um, yeah. I have Men in Black 3 here on DVD, and I saw that one in the theaters. I have Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and look at this, it's from Hollywood Video. Um, when they were going to, um, you know, bankrupt, and um, my the st store closest to us was closing. Uh, if you guys don't know what Hollywood Video is, it's kind of like it was like, like Blockbuster. Um, but yeah. I remember going back into that store, even Black, Blockbuster back in the day. Um, I miss stores like that. I, I miss them. It was whatever. Um, got Zombieland here. Fantastic movie. 22 jump, 21 Jump Street. And 20, 22 Jump Street. I love these movies. Um, the two of these. Uh, hopefully they can get the MIB 23 off the ground I'm hoping for and then here I have uh, the Amazing Spider-Man and the Amazing Spider-Man 2 here um, yeah I know a lot of people didn't like these ones but once again I do um, White House Down, I have here. Whiplash, which is one of my favorite movies. The Interview, I have on DVD, because I'm an American. Yeah. I got, ooh, I got Goosebumps here. I've only seen like twice. And, unfortunately, 
the Emoji Movie. Yes, your boy owns the Emoji Movie. Terrible. The movie's a crime. I'm going to show you my DVD collection of my Pixar stuff. First, I got Finding Nemo here on DVD. Um, you know, funny thing is, I remember uh, picking this up at the store um, when I was you know, I was with my dad. I remember him grabbing this movie. Oh, this thing is worn out, but I love, 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 love this movie. Love, love, love. The Incredibles, also a two-disc special edition, um, or collector's edition, uh, on you know DVD. Um, yeah, also one of my favorites. Um, Ratatouille. It's all right. Some of these I'm hoping to upgrade eventually, so I can just have these DVDs stay here at the house and have my own. Um, collection. So again, most of these I didn't pay for, except for these last couple. Um, but I got Wally here, and this is the this is the really weird one, um, where it comes out like this. Rear edition. It's a film. I have up here, and the thing's always broken. I'm gonna need a new copy of this. I need to upgrade all these Pixar movies. Problem is, they're like 25 bucks a piece on Amazon. Some of them I saw for 20 on um, at Walmart, but still, like, that's like you know, over 400 dollars, like 400 dollars for the less stuff. So eventually, through the years, I'll I'll grab them once every once in a while. Cars, and then Cars 2 I have here. Um, which again, I'm hoping to upgrade to the Blu-rays. Brave, I got myself. Um, and also Monsters University. Which I love Monsters, Inc. And so having Monsters University is, you know. When I am ready to upgrade, I'll probably uh, sell some of them. At least the ones that are mine. But, um, I mean, I take them from to the shelf. I mean, my dad's not going to want these. My brother's not going to want them. I'll take them. Uh, so here's my uh, Disney. Oh, I have one more Pixar movie. Inside Out. Oh, I got stuck with my Disney stuff. Um, great movie. But then I have... Wreck It Ralph here on DVD. Uh, absolutely love Big Hero 6 on DVD, which was one of my first videos, I think. I mean, it was definitely on my first year of um, this channel. I own Tangled, so I love Tangled. I love Tangled. I have the Black Calderon, the 25th anniversary edition here on DVD. I have Phineas and Ferb, the movie, Across the Second Dimension. I wish they would release the series, but oh well. And I have Disney's Tomorrowland, which I saw in theaters. It's been a while since I've seen this one as well, but um, yeah. Doing this on Monday was terrible. I have school tomorrow. Oh, no, no. I have here, if I do this right, triple feature of The Punisher. I have The Hunger Games, the two disc DVD, it's on the second disc. I guess a bunch of special features I should check out. Nice looking covers, I love uh, all these covers on these movies. The movies are alright. K 
Catching Fire. It's probably my favorite book out of this um, series. Um, but, but yeah. I don't know what. And we're back. Alright. Hunger Games Mocking Jay. Part one. Um so this one's alright. Mocking Jay's okay. Mocking Jay Part Two, which I got last Black Friday. I didn't get on release date. Um but I did see all these in theaters. Um back when you know my book club was a thing. I have uh, Now You See Me on DVD and Now You See Me Too on DVD with a lenticular cover. I have The Voices on DVD which is a Ryan Reynolds film. Um, this movie is weird. It's very weird but I wanted to see it and it's pretty decent. Um, he has like schizophrenia or whatever or something so his, his pets talk to him and then he just murders people it's great stuff and then I have uh, Cabin in the Woods which is one of my favorite horror movies I got the lenticular slip cover there too I didn't realize I had uh, this many lenticular covers um, but I finally got this movie for 374 at Walmart um couple months ago. I've been wanting it for like ever and now I finally have this movie. One more shelf to go. So here I have a Scream 3 pack. This was 10 bucks. Got this at Walmart as well. Um, I love Scream so much. Um, I even got the Scream mask and the TV show Scream mask. Got the Brandon James mask. Um, but I have these, these movies, um, Scream 4, I also had to get at the Sam Goody place, couldn't, I can't, couldn't find this anywhere, but they had it, didn't have the Nightmare on Elm Street remake, but they did have this, so I was like, alright, sweet, um, so yeah, it's perfect, I need to go there more, find some goodies. Snowpiercer here on DVD. Such a wonderful film. I love this movie. Um, and it has one of those covers that, you know, but um, if you ever get a chance to see this movie, it's pretty good. It's based off a graphic novel. Um, I have The Giver, which I read this book. I haven't seen this movie and also forever a lot of these movies I haven't seen in a while forever read the book though saw this in the theater so it's okay it's alright um yeah I mean I don't know what else to say but um, this was one of my very first unboxing videos too I remember and I forget I had this movie because it's so plain just right there but this is such a memorable cover um yeah, I, I forgot this, I had this movie. Sometimes I forget that it exists. I should watch this soon. Or not. I have um, Before We Go that was directed by Chris Evans. Got this a couple years ago on Black Friday. It's a romance movie. I don't have many romance movies. Um, especially back when I got this. I mean, I have a little bit more than I do now. I have the notebook, but not many. So there's that. Um, next, I have South Paul, which is a really good movie that I that I enjoy. But uh, it's super sad. It's a really sad movie, and um, so I don't watch it that often. But um, still, still a good movie. Jake Gyllenhaal, yeah. I haven't seen that one in a while, just because it is such a sad movie. Um, 
But I do like the music with like Eminem. Next, I have Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight that I got on Black Friday last year as well. Or, well, the year before. 2016. Uh, this was like four bucks and with the slipcover and everything. I was like, yeah. So this is the only Quentin Tarantino movie that I own. But I haven't, I've only seen this one, Pulp Fiction, Inglorious Bastards, and that's it. Um, but I do really like this movie, like a lot. And the slip cover feels just feels great. I love this movie. The eight movie collection of Friday the Thirteenth. These are all terrible movies. Um, I've only seen like the first couple, and I'm like, I can't, I can't with those movies. In the mini, uh, you know, just I got the Indiana Jones, the Complete Adventure Collection. I'm really looking forward to number four, or number five. Um, Raiders and The Last Crusade are definitely my favorites, but uh, I like this little collection set. I always preferred Indiana Jones versus Star Wars. Here I have the original Cloverfield here on uh, DVD. Um, this is an interesting movie. Hugo, I read this book. Um, well, it's more of like pictures <laughs> than an actual book. But um, I haven't seen this in a while. I feel like I would appreciate this movie a lot more than... Um, I did back in the day. And wow. It has an ultraviolet coat. I wonder if that thing still works. Huh. Let's see. Anyway. Uh, I read this book. And. Uh, yeah. What else I got here? Rise of the Guardians on DVD. Sad. Well, you know what happens to Jack Brock. I also haven't seen this movie in a long time. This is. Has been in a Cumberbatch in there, right? Yeah. Oh, you know what? Produced by Colomero del Toro. Fantastic. Uh, the Guilt Trip um, with Bar Barbara Streisand and Seth Rogen. Good movie. I really like the movie. Um, but yeah. Just check things too old to um, get on voodoo, but I wish I would have been on top of that a couple years ago when I was a lot younger, but I didn't really care so much as I, I do now. I just looked, the code didn't work. Um, I wish I would have cared back, you know, when I was first getting movies um, before this channel and building up that collection, but. Uh, I didn't. There's a lot of movies that I have that I don't have on my collection. Just because either I lost the code or they don't work anymore because I didn't do them when they were out, but it's whatever. Still a good movie. Haven't seen it in a while, though. Oh, God. I've spent too long on this video. Um, I have Star Trek here, 2009 version. I also pr prefer Star Trek versus Star Wars, but whatever. Um, so I have that on the DVD. Also, Star Trek Into Darkness. Ooh, Into Darkness. I don't know. Um, I got the first one. I had this one. I've had this one for like two years, and this first and third one since last year. I didn't. I saw this one in theaters, but I hadn't watched it because I didn't have one or three, and so it was just kind of sitting on my shelf for a year. I'm like, I need the the other ones, and so I did get them, but. Um, I, I do like this trilogy, especially this one, Star Trek Beyond. Um, it's probably my favorite out of the three. Um, I really do love this trilogy. I really do. Another one of my favorite films uh, is Boyhood. Such a great movie. Um, such a cool concept. And I feel like this is a must-see. Definitely see this movie if you guys can. This video is going to be like two hours long. Um, I have the Spongebob movie, Spongebob Squarepants movie, um, classic, I remember watching the show back 
you know, as a kid and whatever, but um, I, I do have this movie. And my number one hit on my channel, the Spongebob movie, Sponge Out of Water, with over 10,000 views. I don't know why this is my number one video, but it is for some reason. I have no clue. It, I, out of my entire collection, I'm really surprised that this is the one. But, um, I guess a lot of kids, I, I, I guess kids watch my channel. And if they do, then I'm sorry because I've cursed like twice in this video. Not that anyone's watching this video. I guarantee nobody's watching at this exact point. Y'all probably just like gave it up. It's like, whoa, I didn't think you were going to make a two hour video. I thought it was going to be like a half an hour. And me too. I thought this was going to be short. I have uh, Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho. I'm tired of hearing my voice. I, uh, are you guys getting annoyed with me? Because I'm getting annoyed with me. I'm talking too much. Uh, no, but I do have Psycho. Uh, great stuff. I'm almost up. Almost there. Here I have the Jurassic Park Ultimate Trilogy. Here on uh, DVD. This is such a nice set. I really do love this set. I know there's a less thick edition with all four, but um, I got this right before the fourth movie came out. Um, but I do, I do really like the set. This was one of my very first videos as well. It's the Jurassic Park Ultimate Trilogy. Sometimes I forget I have this. I forget some of the stuff I have. It's a very nice um, thing, though. I also have Jurassic World here on DVD. It's an alright movie. Um, I think the first one's the best one. The rest of them are kind of meh. But we do have Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, or whatever, to look forward to this year. The Fallen Kingdom, I don't know. Uh, next I have Back to the Future. Uh, movies that apparently my dad grew up on, that I never uh, grew up on. I don't know why he never showed me these movies. But I got this a couple years ago. This is the 25th anniversary uh, edition. Um, of course, right before the 30th an anniversary edition came out, like that same year, I got this was um, that that collection set that came out. And I'm like, are you serious? But this is also a good, good collection. So it's whatever. Also here I have Howard the Duck. Terrible movie. Um, but, you know, that's what I would tell you about. Hulk. Here. On, uh, on DVD. I haven't seen this one in a long time either. But, uh... Whatever. I got Hot Fuzz. I don't have Shaun of the Dead yet, which I really like. I haven't seen The World's End. Um, but they got it on Black Friday. They, they just blind buy it just because they had the guys from Paul, which is a good movie, but Hot Fuzz is great. Shaun of the Dead's great. Wow, well, this other uh, camera ran out of storage, so I have to use my phone. Um, but here, I got the DVD version of Puss in Boots here. Haven't seen this one in a while either. I need to get the Shrek movies. I, they're out there, but I mean, I don't want to take them. All my own copies of stuff. Battleship. Um, George Transformers. They're like the same thing. Whatever. The Purge, which really isn't mine, but I mean, they don't care. I'm just, I'm keeping this for myself until I get like the three pack. Or the fourth one's coming out, so maybe that four pack. If that ever does the thing. Paranorman is the only film from Laika. Um, Lakia. I don't know, whatever. Laika that I have here on DVD. I haven't seen this one in years either. I watched Coraline not too long ago for Halloween, but um, yeah. Uh, Rest in Peace Department, R.I.P.D. Um, it's okay. Got Non-Stop here with Liam Neeson. Uh, good movie. I watched this the other day too, again. Um, you know, once you've seen it, you know, the replay value is not the best, but it's definitely worth watching once. And one of my favorites again, uh, The Gift, here on DVD. Um, very good movie, I think. Alright. 
my last set. Um, here I have Eli Roth's The Green Inferno, which is an okay movie, but um, I really like the behind the scenes of, you know, making this movie that they've talked about. The Visit. I saw this movie in theaters. You know, M, M. Night Shyamalan, you know, his comeback and then Split he did. And now he's doing, like, Glass or whatever. I've seen The Sixth Sense, but other than that... Well, I saw The Last Airbender, too. Which I saw at Best Buy for, like, four bucks. I was like, should I grab it? I didn't, but I might. Is that a threat? I don't know. Uh, Crimson Peak. This is a Del Toro movie. Um, I say Del Toro because I can't really say his first name. Um, I just don't know how to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, I love this movie. Here I have Despicable Me on DVD. Um, good movie. Absolutely love, 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 love these movies. Despicable Me 2. I saw that one in theaters. Um, Despicable Me 3. Which is the new one. I got this for 10 bucks um, at Walmart. This is a special edition. This one's alright. I think the second one's probably my favorite. I don't know. And then I have Minions here, which they're doing a sequel for. Um, but yeah. Well, guys, once again, thanks for watching my entire film collection Blu ray DVD uh, of. But yeah, thanks guys. I have more videos coming. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. If you guys are even watching at this point.